Hey, Adam Colbertson here. Before we begin, we got a promo from another independent podcast, so when you finish this episode, make sure you go and check them out. Hello, this is Mike, the GM of the Dresden Files RPG podcast, Green Mountain Mysteries. We're a comedic actual play podcast about a Midwestern monster hunter. So Albion's kind of a, uh, he's a monster hunting type. He can't be a warlock, that's illegal. A psychic medium. Desdemona Brown. Sometimes Jack helps me, no, that's bad. <laughs> a criminal changeling. Rosetta Common. Monsters aren't real idiots because I'm going to make this monster not real with my magic powers. And a charismatic butt doctor. Sylvester Coopersmith. Hey, quick question, buddy, if that's cool with you. What the fuck is your deal with me? Trying to save the world from magical mayhem, using the backdrop of Burlington, Vermont in all of its splendor. What appears to be Champ, the Lake Champlain sea monster. (sighs) (laughs) Catch Green Mountain Mysteries every other Wednesday on the Pocket Podcast Network. Steal your mind for eldritch horrors of the universe unknown. For what is to follow is a tale of intrigue, mystery, and madness. You're listening to Microphones and Monsters. escaped this thing before um, but I have returned and the music starts to play <laughs> <laughs> to kill as y'all are walking up to the bridge I will I will, I will um, I'll uh, release the, um, the the gust of wind so that I don't blow away the bridge Okay. In case, you know, other people who don't have a means of flying will need to use it to cross. Yeah. Huh. And I say, uh, I have returned to kill my father. Y- you're what? <laughs> and then the, the music you have to speak up, the wind is very loud. <laughs> <laughs> and and the, the music, the music intensifies. I have returned to kill my father. Oh, the music's really loud. I need you to speak up a little more. <laughs> <laughs> I, cut the music. I cut the music. He said he's returned to kill his uh, father. So hey, the music's better. not there yeah. anymore. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, the music stopped right before Victor yells. <laughs> You're always messing up my moments, man. <laughs> uh, kill my yes, father. Yes, they haven't happened of doing that. And I just go, oh, no, 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 no. walk away. Okay. <laughs> we, we walk towards the bridge. All right. So, so, how are y'all? How are y'all going in order across this bridge? Oh fuck. Well, I'm gonna go whenever Verath goes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> fuck. Victor's gonna let the heavy people go first. <laughs> <laughs> the ten foot giant and the guy in the mech suit cross the bridge before uh, he does. So what I will do. I, I had a sinking suspicion that this would happen. Get it sinking as in falling. Ha, I'm clever. Um, uh-huh. I am going to cast fly. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, can I ask how wide is this chasm? Hmm. It's a long rope bridge. Oh, Let's God. say. Yeah, you can't see. Like right now, you can only see 10 feet in front of you. Okay. 
Well, then Victor will not try to sprint and jump over this chasm. Oh, yeah, yeah, you probably don't want to do that. Oh. Yeah, well, well, <laughs> that, that's well, a good call. Well, I, well, if if you know, outside of game knowledge, it, Victor's movement speed is sixty feet, and if he <laughs> uses the sprint, it's times five. Yeah. So that's already what, like three hundred feet mm -hmm. that he could have gone. So, jumping though, in a blizzard. Yeah, sure. With yeah, disadvantage, yes. maybe, yeah. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> He's got a plus six in acrobatics. I mean, <laughs> all, all I'm saying is Usain Bolt could not jump the same distance he can run. No, within no, six no, feet. yeah, exactly. Or six seconds. Like, he, he couldn't jump the, yeah. that distance. It's, and jumping is strength based, not dex yeah. based. Yeah. Okay, so, so are we still are we still in a ship order? Uh, well, who's wanting to cross first? So my what I am thinking of doing is is I'm going to fly to the bridge, like okay. so I can see the bridge in front of me. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all, y'all are at the bridge. Okay, so my what I wanted to do is is using magical tinkering. Uh, I am mm -hmm. going to place. I still have um, those. Um, uh, I still have the bullets from the micro SMG. So what okay. I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, five of the bullets, and I'm going to use magical tinkering on the bullets so they uh, radiate light. And I'm going okay. to basically place them along the bridge to kind of like as little light nodes so they can kind of see where the bridge is going. Okay, okay. How sturdy is this bridge? I have no idea. I mean, it it it, it feels and looks pretty sturdy, okay. um, it, other than the wind blowing it. And it's not being blown as much without gust of wind hitting it. Okay. All right, well, you know what? Uh, am I, if uh, somehow the bridge snaps, able to save myself with my Blades of Wrath? Uh, uh, that, that, that's that's going to be up to a roll, really. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so yeah, I, uh, you know. I can't I can't predetermine uh, that for you. <laughs> is there a way? And then, so always expect the unexpected. Shit, man. All right, I'm also I'm also going to be looking for this. So as I am going to like place the bullets and kind of light up, you know, a line of the bridge. And mm -hmm. basically I'll put them in like, you know, I'll put them in like 10 foot in, uh, gaps. So you can basically you'll, as soon as you get to the first light source, you just see the second light source in front of it. Um, what do I, oh, so the, you you only did that with five bullets. So so I did it with so I did it with five bullets because I can only do five at a time. So essentially, so okay. you'll see the first bullet, and you'll get up to it, and then there'll be a ten foot gap, and then you'll be able to see the second bullet. So basically, I'm gonna line up, you know, fifty feet, of yeah, of, fifty of, feet. You know, okay, basically where you can see where you're going. All right, so so you're going first, yes. and as you get to fifty feet, uh, you realize that the bridge is still going. That's fine, as long as I can kind of guide them up to that last bullet point. I'll um, release um, the magical tinkering on the other ones, and then kind of start it up again to like daisy chain this. Oh, okay, okay, and and y'all are following directly right behind. Who is going second? I'll do. All right. Yeah. So Varath and Alistair are second. Yeah. And there's no wind resistance right now, right? Um, From us walking. Again, it's more, it's it's swaying the bridge. Oh, the wind okay. is. Got it, got it. So I don't have to bring out my so shield there's... to like protect myself. I've actually got my blades of wrath ready. And I have okay. the cat yeah. on my shoulder. Okay. And Victor, you are. It it it, it if it is. Uh, is Julian flying? Yes, or is I'm he flying. Walking? 
Okay. And and then Varath is on the bridge, and it doesn't appear to be snapping in half and dropping him to his death, right? Yeah. Correct. No. Yeah, the bri- <laughs> okay. the, yeah, the bridge is still intact. As yeah, you, you could definitely tell that. Then, yeah, Victor, Victor will 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 step out uh, on the bridge as well, um, and he'll just be ready again for any, if anything happens to try to attack uh, okay. directly. Alistair, were you going to ready anything while on the bridge? Um, ready a dim door, save my own scan. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, yeah, I guess I'll, I'll ready an attack if I see something uh, lurching out from wherever that I deem a threat. Maybe, re- okay. maybe read his name in the book. <laughs> All of oh, Varath's name nope. isn't in the book. Um, <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> well, it's too late for that. Okay, here, sign this real fast. No reason. Wait, no, no, no. All right, what so, is it, a death book? Uh, something in, in like that. speaking. <laughs> No, no, I am not dying. <laughs> I live on. I don't know. Think of it like opposite death mm-hmm. note. I can't even hear what you're saying, cat. No, 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 no. Oh, that's true. <laughs> well, I mean, you kind of understand what he's saying. Like, you've spent enough time with him, and especially, like, holding him and talking to him all the time, and Alistair also, talking. And... Alistair not, did not bring up the book. Oh, okay, okay. Never yeah. mind. <laughs> no. Okay. No, no. Uh, he likes this guy, but he's not very important to him. <laughs> <laughs> I have a si- side note. Have you had a guest who's died, like, on the first episode of three? No. 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 Not no. yet. We haven't had a guest die. Nope. Haven't had a guest die at all yet. Yeah. Technically, we've had a guest that was dead before they were a it's guest. True. Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> they were a ghost. Yeah. I mean, I mean kind of. <laughs> It's complicated. Yeah, they were a god Based in training. Based on my understanding, <laughs> the living condition did not apply dead. to that person. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there is a Wendigo leaping out. Okay, so how far are y'all separating from each other? So you got Julian in front. Uh, you got Varath. How far back are you from him? Are you trying to stay like five feet, ten feet? Yeah, I guess uh, ten feet. 10 feet and then Victor how far back from uh, Victor probably would have stayed close to Varath just just so um, you know like Julian's going on ahead to make sure things are safe like he sort of made that clear as like, I'm going to go on ahead and light mm-hmm. it up you know he didn't yeah. say it but obviously that's what he would do just I'm going to yeah. do this uh, now and Julian so, were you going to ready any attack while placing the, well I guess you wouldn't be no, able no. to I mean, I'm well, pretty well, constantly doing yeah, I'm that. Pretty yeah. distracted, or not distracted, focused. I'm focused on doing that. Okay. Yeah. So if if Julian gets attacked, Victor, you can't see it. And I'm sure. Yeah. And the other way around. And this one is coming out towards Barath. Oh, so okay. Of course, Blades of Wrath. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And Victor, you see it. You see it leaping from, or it's like like floating in from the left, uh, coming okay. at him uh, well, to did, the bridge uh, was too. Was Alistair so. ready as well? I don't. Yeah, know. Yeah, Alistair was ready. So, okay, uh, Ale- but- yeah, Alistair would make the first reaction. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, I'm just trying to make sure we stay in order so I don't get all confused. Yeah. No problem. Yeah. And Alistair's reaction is thus. That doesn't help. Went on top of my <laughs> other dice. And y'all are about <laughs> y'all are a hundred feet out. Right now, y'all are not okay. near land. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, twenty to hit, and a twenty to hit. Nice. Okay, yeah, they both hit. Dirty, dirty twenties. Twenty, dirty, yeah. Filthy. <laughs> Filthy rotten twenties. <laughs> I like them. I like them. <laughs> uh, so a total of thirty damage between the two. All right, and uh, yeah, thirty damage connects. Yeah, so so it, it it gets shoved like as it's coming in, you see it and you just like, you, are you on his shoulder now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're on his shoulder, uh, on his right shoulder, I'm guessing. Sure. And it's coming from the left, and he just like <laughs> leans over in front of your face, Verath, and 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 you just watch these two purple blasts <laughs> like blast right in front of your face out towards the left. As as you you look over and you see this thing, and it gets connected with, it just gets launched. 
by by these two lasers. And I bet the cat everyone has very a shoulder mounted laser gun. Yeah, just the program. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, you had an opportunity. We were in the future. And another <laughs> one is coming. Oh, another goodness. one is coming. Of course. And this one is going for the bridge in between Victor and Varath. Okay, like, well, Victor does not want that to happen, lot. so Victor is so going it's, to... It's definitely, like, coming in five feet uh, between you two. What? Okay, okay. Am I able to hit it with my sword? Uh, yeah, yeah, as it's... Okay. as it's, it, it's uh, are, you, are both of you doing melee for this? Oh, or? yeah. Okay, oh, you're doing Varath's sword? Turn. Uh, it, it, it's, it's him Yeah, first, it would be Varath's Okay, Varath's you go turn. first, and if you take it out, if then I, that's great. All right, that's a that's an eighteen to hit. All right, that hits. Try to crit. All right, that's a dirty twenty to hit on the second attack. Okay. Uh, okay, cool. Got it. So they'll both hit. Uh, we've got three plus one's four nine. So that's nine times nine is eighteen. And then so it's eighteen for the first attack. Nine plus nine. And then two. <laughs> Don't worry, he's been saying plus that. Three, five, ten, twenty. <laughs> so, uh, uh, thirty-nine. All right, cool. Don't worry, the math's been right. The terminology just hasn't been. <laughs> what, have, what have I been saying? You, you've been saying things like nine times nine. Oh no! Yeah, yeah. nine. nine. <laughs> <laughs> but you've you been nine times nine is eight. But you've been <laughs> multiplying it by two. Math, is like, you, math in a flash. <laughs> no, you're doing good. Thanks, thanks. <laughs> thanks. Did um, that take it out? Because Victor's like standing there, like he saw it, but that's, Varath got it, it first. It grab like yeah, thirty nine damage, and it, it it latches onto the bridge. And Victor, you still have time to react to it. Okay, okay. So that didn't take it down. It didn't take it down, but it does attach. Like it's it's attached to the side of the bridge, holding onto the rope. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. So Victor will uh, will swing out at it. Um, first one's an 18 to hit, and the second is a 27 to hit. Um, Both hit, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's sitting still, so why wouldn't it? And then the first one is uh, a plus two, 10, and the second is 8 plus 1, 9. So, 19. I'm assuming that poison and piercing don't matter. Let's, uh... Or you don't notice anything. As, as you connect with it, it, uh... The wind starts blowing it mm-hmm. again. Like, like, trying to grab it, but it, like, it, it, it grabbed on to... Hold on. But I was aiming for its grabs. <laughs> yeah, I understand that. Okay. Um, <laughs> so, so, yeah, it, 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 it grabbed on, um, and it's, it's still holding on, um... It did not. You didn't sever through the arms completely. Oh. Um, and uh, the wind catches it, and it pulls away, and its claws kind of dig into the rope a little bit. But but it's more, it's not like, it didn't cut the rope. Like, it just okay. it just <laughs> dug into it some. It just, it just frayed it some. So it's yeah. still hanging yeah. on the bridge. No, its uh, arms are still. Well. No, no, it got pulled away. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, it's pulled oh, away, right. but I yeah. didn't. But yeah, it's, it's, gone. Slightly, it's gone. It very slightly damaged the rope. Okay. Yeah. Thankfully. All right. Uh, but you, you feel confident you stopped it from cutting the rope. Um, Yay. Okay. It's getting real and tense, boys. Getting real tense. That was the second attack? Yeah. That, yeah, was, the that was the second one to jump out, yeah. Oh, yeah, there's another one. <laughs> oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> this one's going for Verath again. And uh, it 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 it's leaping out at you, <laughs> and uh, and uh, you just you see it coming, and you you like you you kind of step back, like trying to ready something, and uh, it it goes flying past you <laughs> and, and yes, out of sight. <laughs> All right, so we are back to the top of the round. Uh, y'all have moved another uh, hundred feet. Uh, across the bridge, uh, you still Julian. You still see no end in sight. Okay, Victor, you look back. You just see bridge behind you. Yep. For, like everybody, you, you you're just in this bridge and completely blind, ten feet out. Um, constantly hearing all that same noise, everything going on. 
And Alistair, it's your turn. Everyone's having a good time. Are you doing anything special? Um, no, not beyond the normal. Like, I'll just uh, get ready to knock another one off into oblivion. Okay. Yeah, and, uh, just in this hurricane of Wendigos. Like, <laughs> all right, everyone get ready it's for more. Fine. <laughs> it's fine. I mean, it's I mean, fine. it's either that or just blast blindly into the, the crowd. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It, uh, or blast, that. blast straight at the uh, yellow eyes. Mm-hmm. Shoot the eyes. <laughs> that, could, <laughs> that couldn't end badly. Uh, Varath, are you going to do anything? So, uh, Blaze of Wrath. I use my Blades of Wrath. I bring out my Blades of Wrath uh, so that I'm ready Wait, for I guess action. you keep them out. I keep them out. And I'm ready for action. Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready for action. All right. <laughs> he super glues his Blades of Wrath to his hands. Uh, uh, Julian, yes, uh, you continue and lay in the bullets down. Uh, yeah, so has everyone got up to that fifth point continuing to move? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, everybody is, is relaying... Like, I'm just going to say, like, yeah, you're with that. Like, everybody's able to communicate. Okay, yeah, then I'll continue. Um, or, or, like, daisy chain communication. Yeah, then I'll continue. Um, and, like, then I'll, then I'll keep laying out bullets and then keep lining them up so they can keep seeing where they're going. Okay. All right. And, and, and it's, and it's causing enough light to where they can, like, see the, the boards. Yeah, as, lo- as long as they uh, don't what, what I'll say? into oblivion, I'm, I'm cool with that. Yeah. What, what I'll do is is um, I'd like to say that because Victor's in the back and seeing behind us doesn't really do any good, especially since it only lasts as long as you do more, that Victor is picking these bullets up as he passes sure. them. Uh, oh, okay. So you're just <laughs> collecting the bullets back up? <laughs> I'm collecting the bullets back up so that you have the bullets okay, later. Okay, I'm not, I'm not <laughs> super worried about that. I did get a lot. I know, but <laughs> it makes sense, and I have room. So uh, yeah. Victor's just like, he's because Victor's sort of watching behind everyone mm-hmm. anyway, and so like he's sort of walking, you know. I'm just tossing it in your pack. Yeah, and Victor just keeps putting them in his pocket, you know, and then in his pack, and when he has a second, you know, just sort of dumping them in there. Uh, just to, just to help. Because he can hold the down in one hand while he picks mm-hmm. the bullets up. Mm-hmm. All right. That way you uh, have to count your bullets mm-hmm. later. And uh, still not still not readying anything else. You're just focusing on, on yeah, making those it, it, bullets. I mean, it, 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 <sighs> Game-wise, yeah, of course I'd want to ready in action. Um, yeah, yeah. Thinking about it wise, I mean, I'd be more focused on trying to get this done as quickly as possible and it would yeah. make sense. And you're kind of action. floating yes. too, so you're having to basically yeah. <laughs> flying like at the edge of this bridge and then like f- like feeling out for where the wood is at and then placing a bullet there and then lighting it and then moving and basically in a yeah. mech suit. Yeah, that would take a lot of concentration yeah. to yeah. do that. Until I install in a big metal yeah, suit. Until I install an artificial intelligence that will fire the lightning gun for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, or or something to to tinker with and like or put put yeah. stuff out there mm-hmm. instead of you manually yep. well, having to do uh, it we'll, we'll, like a little crab robot. <laughs> it's it's runs giving along. you yes. ideas to do yes. things <laughs> on improvements. Yes. I don't I don't I don't know what I need to invent until I come across it. All right, and uh, Victor, and you're 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 just collecting bullets. Yeah, as v- this Victor's, is going ready, you're yeah. your attack. Yeah, and, and Victor Victor will continue to, to stay at the ready just because there's not really anything else he can do. I mean, he can't, like, switch to the garrot wire. That won't help, you know. <laughs> he's, he's just walking along with a sword that does extra damage, and, you know, <laughs> and, and keeping an eye and, you know, picking up Julian's bullets as, they, as like, the little light goes out in them, you know. Because I have to imagine, since, since it's, like, modified combat, we're sort of continually moving, like, Victor's, like... They start to burn out right when Victor gets up to him. He All right. To pop. And uh, y'all, y'all are continuing right along. Y'all are definitely, um, you feel like you're at the lowest, like like the, the bridge sags a little bit, and you feel mm-hmm. like you're hitting that point where uh, you're climbing up um, the bridge. Excellent. Uh, I thought we were going to something darker. It's not, like you feel like you're at the lowest point of your life. Like, oh, okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right, Wendigo time. And uh, Victor, what? Wendigo time, and Victor, you're getting when attacked. Did they go? Okay. So you can okay. react. Uh, yeah, I guess I guess it makes sense that I'll react to that. So mm-hmm. I'll go first this time. And you can yell out to... 
<laughs> for Ath, you turn around and see it. Uh, I, hit, I hit both of those. I, I got a 19 and a 26. Uh, assuming that yeah, all they of both these hit. things have the same. They, uh, they both hit. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. The first one I got 8 plus 6, 14. And the second I got 6 plus 5, 11. So that would be 25 total. With with the two hits and just slash slash at that thing. Splish splish splash! I'm taking it back. Do 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 do. I didn't splish splash. I slash splash. Oh, you, you, that's a very important <laughs> distinction. I had missed that. I apologize. Yeah. <laughs> so as you as you connect uh, with with this Wendigo, um, you you notice that it just it kind of like. Like it, it lands on the bridge with you, and you you just you, with that final blow, uh, you just feel like it. It just like the life just leaves it. Okay, cool. Um, Goodbye. And it just kind of crumbles on the bridge right in front of you, and all of you you see this uh, the the yellow eyes again in front of you, um, mm-hmm. in in the storm. Like you all just see it. Um, like like huge giant yellow eyes, Ooh. and the storm starts to calm down. Mm. Okay, Victor, you killed the storm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> as that happened, like Victor would like freak out and be scared something would go on with it, and just sort of shove the wind to go off the bridge with his foot, just into the cab. <laughs> okay, okay. Just, yeah, try he try want, casually. He doesn't want, he doesn't Casually like, do it so nobody notices. Or, 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 you know, like, come back to life or anything like that. He's just, like, like, like kind just of, sort of stands there, and he's, like, he, he just scoots his foot out and pushes it off the bridge. Yeah. It just falls down. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't want it there. Yeah. Like, I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't do it. He just, like, just hoof kicked it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What, what body? I don't know yeah. what body you're talking about. Like a horse, he just kicked it from behind and it knocked it <laughs> off the bridge. With your clawed hooves. Um, yep. All right, so yeah, the storm is dying down for all of you. Um, as you saw those eyes, and you, you it's kind of like the storm kind of flows into uh, this cave uh, on the other side of the bridge that you see about... Uh, about, I mean, from where you are on the bridge, about 250 feet away from where Julian is. Um, on the other side of the bridge, there's a there's a big cave, big huge cave opening. Um, as it seems, yeah, like like the wind and, and snow kind of just like flow into that cave. Hmm. hmm. And the yellow eyes still there, or did they disappear? They disappeared. Snow cave. And the storm is gone, and we're just in the middle of this bridge. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe we should get to the end of the bridge. Well, if the yeah. storm's gone, you guys can see, so I'll fly to the end of the bridge. All right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, 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 and I'm assuming the rest of us would just quickly make our way to the other side of the bridge, because being on this bridge is not advantageous to our situation. Yes. Alistair will go no faster or slower than Vorath. And <laughs> uh, yep, that's that's what will happen. I'll just wait right, until so we yeah, <laughs> Y'all are able to cross the b- bridge unharmed at this point. Excellent. Look at that. I guess we can approach the cave. Yeah, I, I'd at least um, like to see what's you know in the cave. Yeah. While we're while we're walking, Victor will like reach into his backpack and just pull out like a big handful full of bullets and be like, "Here, Jillian." <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't want these back, but thanks, I guess. You don't want I them don't back? Care. The, put them in your machine gun. I gotta reload the magazine. That takes time. I'm not gonna do this now. <laughs> Fine, I'll give them okay. to you later, and I'll put them back in my pack. You have more important <laughs> things to worry about than loading bullets into guns that could be used as shooting implements. What, what do you think I am? Some person that prepares for things? <laughs> Uh, as you're complaining, Victor will just put them back in his pack and, and hope and assume that you have more. Yeah, ready now to let go. me use a useless spell that won't do anything <laughs> valuable. 
<laughs> so as y'all approach the cave entrance, and um, are y'all starting to go in? Uh, yes, I am. <laughs> we turn around and leave. <laughs> now, specifically... We've come all this way. Time to go back. Varath and Alistair, you're going to hear a, a, from, like you're going to hear what's being said, partially in Alistair's case. Um, Ooh, partially. <laughs> uh, you're going to hear a mixture of of wind. Like, oh, I guess Victor and Julian, you're going to hear that wind, and it's going to be just echoing mm-hmm. out of the cave towards you. Uh, everything, uh, Varath. And Alistair, you're going to hear a combination of Oren, the, that wind language, and Aklo. Oh, no. That horrible, horrible <laughs> Aklo, speech. no. Saying, he has come, and he's brought more people to infect. <laughs> and I just say, shut up, Dad. Hey everybody, Adam Culbertson here, your DM of subverting expectations, wielding my dice of shitty rolls in this episode. <laughs> it looks like they're out of the storm now, or they defeated the storm. Yeah, that. Uh, <laughs> now they got a cave. And a voice coming down the cave. If you're enjoying these episodes, make sure to head on over to microphonesandmonsters.com or micsandmonsters.com and go leave us five-star ratings and reviews, Podchaser, Apple Podcasts, wherever you can. It helps us greatly. We also have Patreon, where you can support us there as well. The music and ambiance in this episode was written and produced by Marco Mazzi of Fallen Highway Studios. I can never thank y'all enough for the support, the listening, the subscribing, everything. Everything that you do. Reaching out to us, interacting with us. It, it's awesome. It feels great. <laughs> and I hope you join us next time here on Microphones and Monsters. <laughs>